Special occasions always deserve a special dessert. And everybody always looks forward to digging into that rich, decadent dessert after they finish their meal. And for special occasions, we want to have something that everybody is going to enjoy. That's why today I would love to share my recipe for my pineapple cream tort with you. Now, this is a cake that I have made for years. It is something that my family always looks forward to having on every birthday or backyard barbecue. But you know, I will be honest, this is something that normally in the past has taken me hours to create, but it's always been worth the while. But when I was introduced to this new cooking cream by Kraft, I realized that this could make my life so much more easier and I could cut that recipe time right in half. You see, this is full of all those bold, creamy flavors that Philadelphia cream cheese always delivers. So by using this product and just a few other ingredients, you're going to be surprised how we can make a no-bake, yes, no-bake, wonderful creamy dessert. You're going to be amazed at how few ingredients we really need to use to create such a decadent dessert. First, we're going to start off with a store-bought frozen pound cake. This is so easily found in any grocer's frozen food aisle. We also are going to need one pound can of crushed pineapple. Now we want to drain that pineapple, but we do want to reserve all that juice because we are going to use that in the recipe. We don't want to waste anything in this recipe. Now we're also going to use a half a cup of brown sugar because brown sugar and pineapple are just wonderful together. We're also going to use one container of a frozen whipped topping. We want to make sure that that is thawed when we get ready to use it. One small container of an instant uh, pudding mix, vanilla. And of course, the star of the show, this is what makes this dessert so easy. This is the cooking cream that I promised and it is the original variety. The original variety is just packed with all that wonderful cream cheese flavors, but it's so nice and rich and smooth that it's going to make this tort unforgettable. Let's go ahead and get started with my favorite part of this dish, the rich and creamy filling. Now, in the past, I've had to do this filling using egg yolks and create a nice, rich custardy sauce, but I don't have to with this cooking cream. This cooking cream is going to give me all those rich, velvety, creamy textures that I want out of this cake. So I'm just going to put this into my mixing bowl. This just spoons up so nice and easy. It's absolutely wonderful to work with. Now I'm also going to add my vanilla um, pudding mix right into that cooking cream. I'm also going to put my brown sugar. And now I'm going to add some of this reserved pineapple juice. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour this into my half cup measuring cup. Pour it right in. You can drink the rest of this juice if you want to for a little treat later. And I'm just going to kind of combine this a little bit, get it started. And now what I want to do with my mixer is to go ahead and mix this up until it's nice and rich and creamy. Now it's time to start assembling our cake. Believe it or not, it's really this quick. I'm going to now take my pound cake and I want to keep it frozen. That's the best way to work with it. And using a serrated knife, I'm just going to cut this cake right in half, right down the middle. Now I want to create six very thin layers. That's why we want to keep this frozen because it really helps us in cutting. So once I get this in half, I'm going to cut each half into three more layers. So now that I have all my layers in my baking dish, I want to go ahead and start adding my cream filling. Now I just want to use half of this, so kind of measure that out and then go ahead and start spreading this over all these beautiful pound cake slices, just like so. It really smooths on very nice and easily you don't have to worry about crumbs falling off or anything because that cooking cream really gave a lot of body to this cream sauce. So once I have all that cream spread amongst that pound cake, I'm ready for my next layer. So just like I did on the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and lay on these 
pieces of pound cake. And again, I don't have to really be too concerned about how everything is fitting in. Just get these pieces of cake right into this pan. Okay, there we go. Now again, I'm going to repeat with, with my leftover cream, placing it right on top of those slices of pound cake. There we go. Woo, that looks good and creamy. Now for the icing on the cake, or in this case, the whipped topping on top of the cake. You know, this cake is all about velvety, rich texture, so I don't want to bog it down with something heavy and overly sweet. So that's why we're going to go ahead and take our whipped topping and just place it into a mixing bowl. Scrape all that good stuff out of there. Now we're going to add our drained pineapple right into this whipped cream mixture. I'm just going to give it a quick stir. And this is what we're going to place on the top of this beautiful pineapple cream tort. Now this has been so easy, such a breeze to make. This is going to be something that my family is going to be so excited about because now that I have created an easy version of this cake, that means that they're going to be getting this quite often. <laughs> Birthdays, here we come. So I finished spreading all that whipped topping on top of this torch, all those layers of cake and cream. This is going to be so decadent. You know, what's really amazing is I made a dessert of this caliber in less than 10 minutes. That's all it took to assemble. You know, nobody is really going to believe that, so I just might keep that secret to myself. Next, all I have to do is pop it into the refrigerator and let all of that cream soak into those pound cake layers and let that whipped cream, you know, absorb all those pineapple flavors. So. Off to the refrigerator it goes, and I'll be back in 45 minutes to give this wonderful cake a try. 45 very long minutes went by because I'm just dying to dig into this wonderful cake. You know, when you cut into it, you can see all those layers. You see that pound cake and that cream filling and more pound cake and more filling and of course that whipped topping. You know, for people that don't like something really sweet or if you make a big meal and you want something nice and light to serve, this is the perfect dessert to make. I love to make this after a barbecue in the summer because, you know, there's no baking so this is so easy to make. Mm. This is so good. You know, I don't miss out in any of those flavors that I used to do when that big huge cake that I used to make and spend all those hours doing. With this cooking cream, the cream is a snap and by using that pound cake, that's really a nice time saver. So I hope you try this cake next time. You don't want to spend hours in the kitchen and you're looking for something that is new and exciting to serve to your guests.